individual's right to own a gun is protected by the Constitution. A 73-year-old woman says she woke up to find a man and a woman kicking in her bedroom door. When the pair finally got through, they pushed her down, and that's when she says she grabbed a gun common and fired sense her. gun law. Common sense plan. We need to put common sense. Second Amendment. It's just common sense. To keep our kids safe. You can't carry a concealed weapon. We saw what was banned. We're getting rid of semi-automatic weapons. Disarming the population. Smaller guns, that's harder to do. Yeah. So let's do that again. Go ahead. That's it. Pull the gun in kind of close to you. Slowly pull back. Consistent pressure. Very good. My name is Carrie Lightfoot, and what I do is I help to educate women and help them to navigate the scary world of firearms um, with my aim of trying to help them make right decisions for themselves. Uh, I do believe that the gun is the great equalizer and that true equality comes when women are empowered and educated and equipped to protect them, themselves and their children and families. I think the firearm is an empowering tool for myself and for the millions of women across the country that own and use them is because it allows us to level the battlefield of violence. Women are the prey, and we all know that we're the prey. We're the prey of violent predators. There is no knight in shining armor. Our men can't be with us all the time, and law enforcement comes, sadly, after a traumatic experience, after an attack. So to have the ability to be our own first responder and protect ourselves and our children and our families is incredibly freeing, and it truly is equal rights. There's a enormous amount of money being spent in, in disinformation and propaganda um, and sometimes effective legislative action against the right to keep and bear arms. Congress has enacted many, many gun control laws at the federal level, uh, but on the right to bear arms, the, the right is respected in 42 of the states. But the problem is that it's just about impossible for law-abiding adults to obtain a permit to carry a handgun for lawful protection. So the public streets are basically turned over to the people who are willing to violate the law, uh, the criminals, and the, the decent citizens are left defenseless. Right, if you can have a really good shot. So let me hold your magazine. And so your strong hand is way up high. This is called the beaver tail right here. Perfect, that looks awesome. All right, so go ahead, let's just stretch out into a stance and see how that feels. I believe there is an assault on our Second Amendment happening right now. I think it's an intentional assault. I think that it, it is very strategic and there is a plan to at some point eliminate our Second Amendment rights and to fully restrict our rights. And I think for women in particular, it is, it is a very scary thought because women must rely on the tools that can close the difference, the disparity of size and force and the gun is the only thing to do that. It, it's a scary time, and I think it's so important for all constitution-loving people in this country to do something, to fight, to vote, to get out there and vote, and to speak up to protect all of our constitutionally protected rights.